Okay, it's the captain steering the ship. Oh, I like it. Coach of the year. Okay, a lot of good guys calling shots across the league. Yep. Um, this one, like, I'm, I'm scared because, like, I don't want to offend any of the coaches because they're all class acts. We're act. spoiled in terms of our coaches in the CBL, big time. Like, a lot of great talent coaching-wise. Excited to see yeah, the results. Yeah, let's see what the, the audience thinks. Audience being our broadcast media, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kyle Julius, wow! you know, tied for the best record in the league. Obviously, we saw the clash of the Titans last night between yep. the Stingers and the Bandits. Do you agree with this pick? I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, shout out to Kyle Julius. Shout out to what the Bandits are doing this season. I think they're the most talented team. You know, you, you're going to mention it. Obviously, the defense, the offense, how good they're doing all across the board statistically. But You just gave away my pick. I'm yeah, sorry. Sure, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just throw it up there. <laughs> <laughs> you know how low I was on Edmonton coming into this. Yeah, season. where did you have them in the power rankings? I think you? it was like eighth. I don't remember okay. exactly. And I where had it them was. like third. Yeah, yeah, third or fourth. You were better. Yeah. Um, you knew how good Jordan Baker was as a coach. I think I looked at that roster and I said, well, I, I don't necessarily see how he can elevate the talent. That's how you know he's a good coach. He is elevating that level of talent. The offensive system that they have with the high post actions that they run between Creaky and all the other guys. I love what they do on both ends of the floor. I think, like you said, next man up, all the type of stuff that you want from a coach, he's instilled that in Edmonton. That's why they're such a good team. Yeah, it's it was tough because going into last night's game, I said, you know, whoever comes out of this game, because this is the, one of the biggest games on the schedule this year thus far, because yeah. you know, you'll be tied for the best record of the league, or, you know, the Bandits will run away with it, uh, you got to kind of pick that coach and, you know, I'm going to stick to my guns here with the Bandits, which okay. is ironic because I didn't have them in my top five in the pre-rank. Yeah. Like, this is this is why this we, conversation we is interesting, yeah, right? Because yeah. we're both flipping right now. But, you know, for, for Kyle Julius and this basketball team, highest scoring team in the league, holding the teams to a league best, 81.6 per game. Best in blocks per game, third in steals. Yeah. You know, it's weird because when you think of the best defensive team in the league, you kind of want to go with the Stingers. But statistically, right. it's the Bandits that are running away in these statistical categories, right? I, this is the thing that's interesting about Coach of the Year. It's like, all right, Vancouver clearly has the most talented team. It feels like, at least to me initially, they were going to run away with, or at least be one of the top teams in the league. I didn't see that with Edmonton, and they're elevating to the point where I can. What do you attribute that to a coach more? Is it the yeah. getting the talent to do what they need to do or elevating the talent to be higher and better than they're supposed to be? I don't know. Yeah. It's an interesting and, conversation. And with the Bandits, I mean, we've seen a lot of instances where you have too much talent and it's hard to manage sort of the egos, right? But yeah. with Kyle Julius, you have you know two guys potentially Successful. on all CBL teams, right? You got a star in Kobe McEwen as well. Absolutely. Um, so he's just done a great job managing. And the thing is about last night's loss, right? When you look back at it and at the box score, Tajay Moore gets ejected, Nick Ward gets ejected as well. So how much does that play right. into the conversation at the end of the year? Hey, as I well? think GM of the year got to be Kyle. For Julius, sure, you know what I mean. For sure, because that's an incredible roster talent wise. Yeah. Shout out to him. And, and also shout out to the other coaches, uh, Vic, Victor Rosso. I think he's going to be in the conversation yeah. at the end of, end yeah. of the year as well. So this is going to be a fun one. Oh yeah.